Welcome to Her Majesty's Superior Butcher Shop. Truly a medieval cave of charcuterie, where our butcher is hard at work preparing for a royal feast, and where we've carved out a sketch all about the Superior Vena Cava. The Superior Vena Cava, or SVC as it's commonly referred to, is the final vessel that returns venous blood from the head, neck, and upper extremities to the right atrium of the heart. The rest of the blood from the body returns via the inferior vena cava. To remember the areas drained by the SVC, peruse the finer meats in this butcher case. A goat head, neck, and arms. Okay, so goats don't exactly have arms, but they're like our upper extremities. Anyway, not to be outdone by lesser butchers of the royal court, this shop also caters to a variety of palates, including those with a taste for octopi. These two cephalopods are holding arms, or tentacles, to remind you that the SVC is formed from the right and left brachiocephalic veins. Brachio, like arms, and cephalo, like head, and also like cephalopod, hence the friendly octopi in this tank. Importantly, these veins are paired structures, unlike the arterial system, where there's only a single brachiocephalic artery on the right side. This shop may have the queen's blessing, but it doesn't hurt to have a hype man trying to bring in some new business. Though, it looks like that octopus would rather not have octopus sandwiches on a menu. Maybe not so friendly after all. The cephalopod is strangling this juggler who is juggling sub-sandwiches to remind you that each brachiocephalic vein is formed by the confluence of the internal jugular vein and the ipsilateral subclavian vein. The internal jugular is the main venous supply from the ipsilateral half of the brain and superficial face, and the subclavian vein drains the ipsilateral arm via the axillary vein. Oh, and the external jugular vein drains into its ipsilateral subclavian vein. So, each brachiocephalic vein drains an arm and half of the head. 